In this video, you will learn how to add and edit data markers on a graph. You'll also learn the difference between data markers and analysis markers. You'll want to add data markers to a graph when you need to perform analysis on a subrange of your data. To do so, you click on the Data Selector tool on the Tools toolbar on the left-hand side of the screen. Data markers are added to your graph at the beginning and end of the data plot. You now need to click and drag them. You can watch the data display window at the bottom of the screen, which is showing you the XY coordinate values. You press Enter to confirm your selection. When you do so, you will now have uh, the pointer tool back and the data markers are now red in color. Double click on the markers to further edit the range. You can also right click on the marker and from the context menu you can edit as well. You can use the arrow keys to move the markers as well as using the mouse. When you use the arrow keys the markers are moved point by point. And you can watch that data display window. We're moving uh, the first data marker. If you hold down the shift key, it moves by four. Now the control key will move even faster, which is especially useful for large data sets like we're looking here. Watch that data marker, that first one, move. Again, you press enter to confirm your selection. You can now perform analysis on this range of data. Let's continue by looking at another graph. With this graph, we're going to mark multiple subranges. To do so, we're going to use the Regional Data Selector tool. If you left click and hold down the mouse, there's additional buttons here, so you can select one or more curves. Then we drag out each subrange. Now, of course, if we want to adjust each one, we can click to select it and then drag to modify its X location and you can see the x-coordinate value as you move it in the data display window. And then just click outside to set that as the new range. If you wish to delete and clear all the data markers, there is a button on the standard toolbar that will allow you to quickly do that. We continue now by looking at a plot with multiple data sets. Analysis markers are generated from data markers when analysis is performed. So we're going to select a region on all data plots. We drag out to select the linear part of the data. And then we're going to perform a linear fit. So I choose analysis, linear fit, or fitting linear fit, and the dialog will open. You'll notice that the input data is picked up from our selection and the recalculate mode there is set to manual. So we will see the analysis markers. We're going to click OK. The fit is performed and you can see the three sets of analysis markers. So those data markers were changed to analysis markers. Now the analysis markers have a toolbar. There's three buttons. They control the properties of the analysis markers, so you can actually set the size. With the marker size button. There's a marker hide show button, so you don't have to see those on your graph if you don't want to. And then there's the lock positions button, which will move the green lock next to the analysis markers. Right click on the analysis markers, bring up a context menu. It's the same menu you get if you left click on the green lock. We're going to plot the input data with data markers. This will give us a new graph and again we're back to the data markers so we can perform a new set of analysis on the same input data if we wish. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.